All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, it's an unusual time for me to broadcast in this time, but you know, it's always a good time to answer somebody needs some help. Uh, I receive a question from uh, one of you in Facebook, and for sure, I cannot really uh, like I make videos about every question I receive. I receive a lot of questions. Uh, sometime I, uh, if I see that this question maybe I did not make a video about it, then that would be interesting. But if I made many videos about it, so uh, I'm not ignoring you, but you better search for previous video I made and you can get the answer. Now the question uh, uh, was given by a lady to me and she said how we can answer the Muslims saying such a statement. So what is the statement? Let us see together. Uh, I actually, I took a snapshot without showing her name. There's no need for her name anyway. Uh, and this is the uh, the question. I hope it's clear from your side. All right. Uh, I hope you can help me with this one. I have had this thrown at me several times. Al Maida, chapter five, verse one sixteen, one seventeen. Compined or combined with an attack that Jesus sent and cursed his mother by calling her a woman. Do you have any suggestion how to turn that back? Actually, this is a very fantastic, uh, a stupid argument coming from the Muslim, and I call it fantastic because the Muslims always, they say to us, what is the proof that Jesus is God? Now, if Jesus, he called her mother, they will say, see, he is not God. He just called the women mother. You have a God? And he is calling the women mother? So now the Muslims, they could not find something. So they look and they find that, oh, okay, look, this guy is rude. He is calling his, his mother, he is calling her a woman. Yes, because he is the God of this woman. And he is your God. Bankruptcy. This is what the Muslims have. And as long you are mentioning sin, because he just called her women, you're a prophet, he said that his mother and his father are filthy. And not only that, they will go to hell. And this is how you see the double standard of Muslims. So Jesus calling Mary women, that is a sin and he cursed her? Since when, if I call a woman women, it's a curse. Is that a new language or this is a new word we can add it to the dictionary that if we call a woman women that's mean we are cursing her and if we call a man a man we are cursing him that's very stupid but i'm not sure why i'm not surprised i mean you are speaking about muslims who don't you see when you use something for the first time it hurt that's why the muslim never hurt when they use their brain because they're not using it really they are using copy paste statements none of them he even think about it if jesus call her mother they will say he is just calling a woman mother and yet you claim to be god if he did not call her mother and he call her women they lie and they say he sinned and he curse her that is a very stupid bankruptcy statement and i am not surprised to, to receive a stupid statement coming from muslims because this is islam you know islam is a religion of stupidity it's a chain of stupidity it's like the the uh, the bricks of the demon you know they are they all match together garbage in garbage out uh for those who are saying to me hello hello to you my friend from india from everywhere everybody welcome we love you all actually i have a very special love for people who they are living uh, uh, Christians who live in Pakistan because those people they are under a lot of discrimination but for sure I love everybody and I love the poor ones from around the world especially the poor ones for the Lord he have a special blessing for them so I'm so happy to see people from around the world coming and learning how we can answer and refute the Abdul now the verses they choose for us is fantastic verse Chapter 5, verse 116, 17. 
And you will see here right away the contradiction of the lies of Muhammad in his Quran and the contradiction in the same pose the Muslims they gave us. How in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 116, 117, the Quran says that Allah, he asked Jesus, did you say to your people to worship you and your mother? Which means the Quran claim that the Christians, the Christians worship Mary. And Allah believe in such a lie. And he now is investigating the issue with Jesus. Hey, Jesus, come over here. Come, come, come close. Did you say to your, uh, to your followers to worship me and my mother? You stupid. You just said that Jesus called his mother women. And this is what the Bible says. <laughs> Do you see how the Muslims, they get themselves busted? Do you see it how they get themselves busted? You just you are you are the one who taught us that Jesus he called his mother women. But yet your Quran says, Jesus, did you set your people to worship me and my mother? So how in our Bible, you idiot, we believe that Mary, just a woman chosen by God, and you are the one who is quoting for us the verse. And yet accusing us in the same time in the Quran that we Christians worship. A woman, her name is Mary. Let us go to the verse and show you the stupidity of the guy. His name is Muhammad. If we if we go in the Quran, we will find this. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا إِسَى إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ أَنْتَ أَأَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّي إِلَهِينَ مِنْ دُونِ إِلَهِينَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Let us read translation. And when Allah, you see the Muslim translation, by the way, it's stupid, it's funny. When Allah will say, it doesn't say what Allah he says. It says here, وَإِذَا قَالَ اللَّهُ Which means, and when Allah he said, he said that already, not in the future. But anyway, let it go. O Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to your people, take me and my mother as deity beside Allah? First of all, Abdul, your stupid prophet, you do not know, maybe, that we do not worship Allah anyway. So how for the sake of the leg of Allah, who is a leg, you says to us, did you say to your follower to worship me beside, worship you and your mother beside Allah? Who is Allah? We don't worship Allah. Allah is the moon God. So the statement is stupid. And here, and here, your stupid prophet claiming that the Trinity in Christianity is Jesus and his mother and Allah. But not even a single Christian believe in that. And you are the one who quote for me from the Bible where Jesus, he called his mother women. So can you find me the Bible where it says that Mary, she was the mother of Jesus as God? Or your God, Allah, he have a copy we never heard of. Or maybe Muhammad, he think a certain sect of false Christians at that time, maybe they believe in that. And Muhammad, he think all the Christians believe in this. Because this is what the statement is saying, that the Christians, they believe in this. Garbage in, garbage out. And here Jesus, he shut up supposedly, or Isa, he shut up Allah, he says to him, he said to him, are you stupid or what? Aren't you God and you know what I said and what I said not? <laughs> I mean, what a funny conversation. Are, hey, hey Allah, aren't you God? Are you are you a real God or suku suku? Huh? Are you suku suku God? Why you are asking me if I said that or not? Don't you know? The conversation itself is a stupid conversation. It's made up conversation because how the Muslim they claim that Allah he knows everything but yet he's asking Jesus, did you say that to the people? And then what Jesus said to him, well aren't you God and you know what I said and what I said not? So my friends when the Muslims they come to you with a stupid statement, learn how to shut them up. First of all, the Quran witness that Jesus is holy and Muhammad is sinner. So shame on you to say something, even your Quran is against it. If we go in the Quran, funny book, it's called Quran. Hmm? We will find the following. Hmm. 
If we go to chapter 19, verse number 19, actually, let's go there right away. Um, huh. This website, let us flip to Arabic. Actually, here, chapter 3, verse number, let's go to 9, uh, 9, 19. All right. This is chapter 9, uh, nine uh, sorry, chapter 19, verse number 19. Read with me carefully. He said, uh, Nay, I am only a messenger from the Lord to announce to thee the gift of, the whole, of a holy son. So you, Abdul, you claim that Jesus, his sin, and you claim in your Quran that Christians, they believe in Mary as God, but yet the Quran gets you busted. That Jesus is holy in the Quran. In the same time, the verse you quote for us about Jesus calling his mother, mother, is a problem for you if he do it. And if he did not do it, he called her women. It's a problem if he do it. So Jesus, he did not call her mother because for him, she is a woman and he is her Lord. You know, the Muslim, they will say to you, have you ever heard of God who have a mother? Have you ever heard of a man have no father, but yet he is born of a woman? I mean, how come you remember who have you ever heard and have you ever heard, but suddenly you forget about that? Have you ever heard that Jesus is the only one who can resurrect people from death in, the, in Islam? Have you ever heard that anyone except Jesus is still alive? Have you ever heard that Jesus is the only one is called the Holy Son in the whole Quran? Have you ever heard that Jesus is the only one who can make the blind see? Have you ever heard that Jesus is the only one who is born without a father? Have you ever heard that a man, he is born of a woman, but yet she is a virgin? Have you ever heard that no person is born in this earth, but Shaitan or Satan, he touch him except Jesus and his mother? Have you ever heard that Jesus, as we speak now, he is listening to us? And yet you don't believe in Jesus. So my friends, Muslims are bankrupt people who have a false prophet, who even the Quran, as we, I, as we showed you from the Muslim translation, that Jesus is holy. And no one is holy save God, for there's nobody is holy. No man is holy. Every human being is a sinner. Save God. A human being is a sinner. God is not. Jesus come to us in the flesh of the man, but he is exists before his birth. The most time they will say to you, where was the Trinity before Jesus' birth? That another stupid question, because Jesus said, before Abraham I am, which means his existence have nothing to do with his birth. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the truth, I am the beginning, I am the life. And all those names, we can find them in the Quran where Muhammad stole them and he put them for his God. Where Allah, he says, I am the truth. But the fact Jesus said that long before Allah is even exist, your God, the fake God. When a Muslim speak about Jesus being a sinner, for he called his mother a woman. What do you say, Muslims, when Muhammad, he said that his mother and his father, they will end in hell fire? Any Muslim can answer us? How such a thing can be said from a prophet of God? If, a G if Jesus said to his mother a woman, he is cursing her according to the Muslim. The Quran says that anyone who don't believe in Allah and the last days, he is najis. You know what najis mean? Filthy. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إنما المشركون النجس فلا يقربوا لمسجد الحرام بعد عامهم هذا. Let us read the translation, which is false translation anyway. They try to make it look nicer. It says, "Oh, you believe? Don't let the non-believers 
huh? they all look they say here any clean it doesn't say any clean it says filthy <laughs> what any clean what okay guys what any clean mean you see the Muslim they try to make it look nicer any clean they are any clean you know what, what does that mean any clean it means they are dirty filthy why you don't say it so Muhammad he said clearly that his father and his mother are in hell fire all right why because they are kuffar all right what does that mean that's mean they are filthy nudges so you hypocrites you consider Jesus saying to his mother women is a sin and a curse but yet your prophet claiming that his mother is filthy dirty women is no problem for you same as his father if we go right now and search in Google did the prophet say that his mother and his father they will go to hell you will find tons of answers saying yes let me do it live here we go did prophet I call him prophet you know prophet yeah you're right <laughs> uh, let us see I just searched and I found the answer here did the parents of the Prophet peace upon blessing blah blah but you see all those beats of blessing this is not exist in Arabic it says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which means Allah pray on him because Muhammad is the true God of Islam now uh, discussion uh, of a grandfather and the messenger or this is about the grandfather or the parents no the parents hold on let us see where is the answer Where is the answer? All right. Read with me. It was narrated from the Prophet, peace upon him, that his parents are in hell. Sahih Muslim 203. The rest I don't care for it. Why they are in hell? Because they are kuffar. What does that mean exactly? That's mean exactly they are najis. They are filthy and clean according to the Quran and by the way this is a fascist statement this is a fascist statement the Muslim they think anyone is a Muslim he is filthy sewage guy disgusting and clean it's a fascism to think that if somebody not from your religion he is filthy and you are the clean one the prophet used to have tons of fleas and lice in his head and in his panty who is the filthy one the prophet used to take shower in a water have dead dogs who is the filthy one if we go I don't want to make this video long I just want to answer this lady Read with me and love. The one who call us filthy, who is he? I mean, look who is talking. Look who is talking. It was said, O Allah Messenger, shall we use water of bid'ah? Will it perform a pollution while it is a will which ministration rags, flush, sorry, flesh of dogs. and garbage dumped in it the prophet said indeed water is pure and nothing make it any pure what a science and for those who do not know it's a very small tiny little tiny hole in the ground have all the sewage water of mecca It's not a well where the water coming up this you see well of water producing water arab they will never throw in it garbage for a very simple reason this is desert and water is a priceless this is garbage water as you see it's it's simply it's a sewage of the village it's a low location in the village 
the same as Mecca. Mecca is in one of the lower lowest location or point in Mecca. That's a proof additional thing that Allah is a stupid designer for he chose location for Mecca where it's going to be flood every year. If not the American, they save Mecca and the Kaaba from the flood by the money of the oil. Every year we see Mecca flooded. You can go right now and search and see how the sewage cover Mecca every year almost. So look with me here. The prophet of Islam who call us Najis and he call his parents Najis. Showing disrespect to his parents, the mother who carried him in her womb. He call her Najis and supposedly he is the one is the clean. But yet he have no problem to jump inside the water full of dogs, dead dogs, and menstrual clothes of women, and garbage, and even the hadith says it's a stink. You see all those references, this is a very strong hadith. Yet we are the one who is unclean. I passed by the Prophet B B B U H D W Mercedes Benz. He why they worship Muhammad. They can't even say his name without saying B B U H S A W F M G two hundred. I mean, we say Jesus and He is God for us, and we don't say B B U H E V F O R. And yet they claim that they are not worshiping Muhammad, but they cannot say his name without saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was performing wudu in the will of Bida. I said, I said, are you? Hey, hey, you, 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 no, no, you, Muhammad. Are you performing wudu, which means evolution, from it when garbage is thrown in it? <laughs> and that is a clear sign that Muhammad is a mentally uh, a sick person. You see, the Arab at that time, nobody do that. This is why people they are wondering what this guy he's saying. And actually, you know what? The translation is not even good. It says in Arabic, and natin, the stink. The stink. Not you see here they use the garbage. It's not even garbage. It's a stinky garbage. Read with me the word and natin for those who speak Arabic. So Abdul, don't even try. Whatever you say is going to get back to you. We are the followers of Jesus, who your Quran call him the word of God. And the word of God is holy and perfect. And we challenge you to find one sin Jesus did. And as we showed you, even the Quran said that Jesus is holy in chapter 19 verse number 19 but yet Muhammad is a very filthy sinner according to the Quran and Allah he gave him a license to commit sin in the past in the future have you ever heard of such a thing I never heard of God he said to his prophet I give you an open license for sin. You see, the Muslim they say to you that in certain time the Pope, huh? the Pope, which is absolutely a lie. However, let us say for the sake of argument, one of the Pope he did that. He did that document to forgive your sin. Well, Allah, he did that long before this Pope. The Pope is a man. He can do. He can. He can be a corrupt man anyway. He is not God, but God. He gave Muhammad a license of sin. If we go to chapter 48, verse number 2, we read the following. And he said, but the Muslims, by the way, they try to cover Muhammad problems in this Quran. So they try to fool you with the translation, but it doesn't work with someone like me who speak Arabic. It doesn't work. Lou, we have given thee, O Muhammad, the signal of victory. That Allah may forgive thee of the sin that which is past and which is to come. Like what the heck? A signal of victory is to forgive the past sin and the coming sin? What a victory is that? That is a victory of the devil. 
So when you speak about sin, you explain to us now how the Quran called Jesus holy as we showed you in chapter 19, verse number 19. Yet the Quran say clearly that Muhammad is a sinner and Allah gave him a license to sin, which means he is encouraging his sin. That is your God, Muhammad. And that is my Lord, the Messiah. So don't even dare to compare. Don't even try. How dare you? You see, me as an Arab, I see how stupid this cult is. And sometimes I feel sorry for those who think this is a religion. This is not even a religion. This is a collection of scrap. Like, you know, you go to a dump place and you find uh, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, part of this car here, part of a bicycle, part of a motorcycle, and you try to make a machine out of it. This is why it's a very weird machine and it doesn't do any good. Since yesterday, how many people they killed in the name of Allah? Just yesterday. What about the day before? What about the day before? What about the day before? Jesus said, my friend, from their fruits, you shall know them. From their fruits. And a man who give himself a license for sin, he cannot be a person of good fruit. And we know that Muhammad, he killed, he raped, he steal. Even his followers, they accuse him that he stole an underwear. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet of God and his followers fighting over a piece of a cloth? And this piece of a cloth, they themselves, they stole it. And Muhammad, he have to make a verse claiming that this is God talking. And he says, oh, it's not for a prophet to do fraud and to steal. But the piece of a cloth you people are fighting over it is stolen anyway. <laughs> that is Islam. And you know, we never say something claim something unless we show it with the proofs and reference like now i claim that muhammad was a thief accused by muslims to be a thief i can show you tons of reference from your islamic website from your islamic translation not from mine what a crazy religion this is a prophet of god if this is a prophet of god who is the bad one then what is left for the bad one? When some red velvet cloth were missing, went missing in the day of Badr. What is the day of Badr? The day of the Badr, they, they acted, attacked the non-Muslims to steal the clothing, like to steal their jewelry, to, to steal their money. And now the Muslims, after the theft, they are fighting over a piece of a cloth. And some people began to say, perhaps, perhaps the Prophet took it, which means he stole it. Imagine God in the seven galaxy, the one who created the whole world, is making a verse about a piece of a cloth, an underwear. Do you believe it? Imagine one of you accuse a Christian prince that he stole a t-shirt. And then God, Elohim, he made a verse just to say Christian Prince did not do it. Don't you think this is silly and stupid? This is the concern of God? <laughs> Obviously, Muhammad, you know, his, his God worked for him. This is why Aisha, she said, I see that your God, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. Hmm? Your God... Your God, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. What does that mean? Muhammad, he made verses. Read with me. She, 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 she is not stupid. She noticed that this guy, he make verses anytime he wish about anything he want. I feel jealous from women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger. 
Allah pray on him and salute him. I said, then when Allah exalted the glorious revealed this verse, you may defer any of them uh, 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 of, of them you wish and take to yourself any you wish. A prophet, God, he's saying to him, you can take any women you wish. Any woman she can offer herself to you. This is God. God make a verse about Muhammad did not take a still in underwear. God make verses saying any woman she want to sleep with the Prophet, she can offer herself for free. And this is a privilege only for the Prophet. And Aisha, she noticed that this guy is a scam. And she said to him, Huh, hmm. it seems to me that your Lord has done to satisfy your desire. What desire we are talking about? Sex. That is Muhammad, my friend. So don't ever dare to say that Jesus was a sinner when you are the one who follow the worst of mankind, not the best of mankind, as Muslims always spread in their propaganda. To learn more about Islam, feel free to search my books in Amazon.com. Just type Christian Prince and you will see a list of my books. And soon, very soon, we are going to have three books more published, one in German, and two in English, and the two in English, they will be the name will be Allah and Sex. Those books are going to expose sexuality and the impact of sexuality in this cult. It's called Islam. I hope we did answer the one who asked me the question. And please feel free to subscribe either to my Facebook or to my YouTube. And uh, we might update our schedule for broadcasting because now it's starting to be summertime and people go out more and they stay late more. So we will see how it's work. I might come with a new schedule. However, for sure, we will not stop making videos, exposing the cult, helping the Muslims, which I really love. I don't hate Muslims. Some Muslims, they think I hate them. I don't. We are the followers of Jesus and Jesus said, love your enemy. So you think I am your enemy, but the fact I am not your enemy, I'm your friend. This is why I'm spending my time to save you, my friend. The Quran says in chapter 5, verse 51, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends, for your God, he is a devilish God. He don't want us to be friends. My Lord Jesus said, love your enemy. So which one we should follow? The one who want us to be enemy or the one who want us to be loving each other, living in peace. And it doesn't matter if you believe in what I believe or not. Still, my Lord, the Messiah, he ordered me to love you, not to hate you. God, who teach hate, is the devil. As simple as that. From their fruits, you shall know them. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And until I see you in the coming video, I say God bless you and talk to you soon again. Thank you very much.